This is the flag of Azerbaijan. We are now touring in Azerbaijan. This is the political map of Azerbaijan. It is situated beside Caspian Sea. That is the full eastern side border is the Caspian Sea. On the west, it is separated from Georgia by the Caucasus mountain range. In the southwest, it is separated with Armenia by the Lesser Caucasus Range and Sevan Lake. After seeing some parts of Baku and its surrounding tourist spot, Today we'll go to Sheki. Our bus has arrived near our hotel. We will leave Baku now and go to Sheki. We will see this maiden tower now. But on our way, we'll stop to see few more sites which we have not seen till now in Baku. We will go to Old Baku. We stopped at the maiden tower in Old Baku. The Maiden Tower houses a museum which presents the story of the historic evolution of Baku city. Uh, this is Maiden Tower, is a symbol of Baku. Uh, Maiden Tower, Maiden means girl and tower uh, and girl, uh, Maiden Tower in Azeri is pronounced as Gus, Galas, Gus means uh, girl, Gala means tower, so it's girl's tower. This tower was initially built in 6th century and later some part was constructed in 12th century. Maiden Tower is one of the Azerbaijan's most distinctive national emblems and is thus featured on Azerbaijani currency notes and official letterheads. The tourists are climbing up the stairs. We are now on the top of the Maiden Tower. We climbed already 129 steps and it was very tiring. Photo session is going on. The view from the roof takes in the alleys and minarets of the old city, the Baku Boulevard, the house of Isabek and wide vista of Baku Bay. From the top, we are getting a great view of the Baku city. We are getting a great view of the Caspian Sea. Here we can see the hammams or the bath houses. Bath houses or the hammams were very popular in this region. This house is supposed to be a madrasa. These type of balconies are very unique for these areas. We are now seeing the old city of Baku. All the roads are like labyrinths. It makes us remember the Benares city which are famous for gullies. We are now inside a bathhouse. This is a 18th century bathhouse named Aga Mi Khaji bathhouse. This is a statue of Aga Wahid. This sculpture is unique. You can see the base represents the root of a tree signifying that this person arose from the grassroot level. Now on this side of the head, you can see plenty of models of human beings with whom he has moved in his lifetime. And the other side of the head shows the national musical instruments of Azerbaijan. Now we'll see this museum. It is called Miniature Kitab Museum. Kitab means book, that means it is a miniature book museum. 
all books here are in miniature size. We can see the Bhagavad Gita is also kept here in a miniature form. We will see another famous tourist spot of Baku now that is Sarvansar Sarai complex. The palace of the Shirvan Shahs is a 15th century palace built by the Shirvan Shahs and described an UNESCO as one of the pearls of Azerbaijan's architecture. This is a palace in Old Baku. It is located in the inner city of Baku and together with the Maiden Tower forms an ensemble of historic monuments inscribed under the UNESCO World Heritage List of Historical Monuments. The complex contains many buildings of the palace, Divanhan, the burial vaults, the Shah's mosque with a minaret and Bakuvi's mausoleum. Old Baku was initially like a fort. We can also see a canyon kept near the gate. We can see the old existing walls. This is the twin gate of the fortress. After completing all the sites of Baku, we will now proceed for Georgia. The Georgia border is around 2 to 3 hours from here. All the surrounding areas are looking like a desert. In the distance, we can see the Caucasus mountain range, which separates Azerbaijan with Georgia. Completely uninhabited area. We stopped on the way to see some of the mud volcanoes which are very famous here. These type of mud volcanoes we saw in Iceland and Rotorua in New Zealand but they were in larger forms. All those you can see in my videos if you log on to my channel. So we need to walk up a small hill to see the mud volcanoes. It's around one and a half kilometer walk. Azerbaijan has the most mud volcanoes of any country spread broadly across the country. 350 to 700 volcanoes of the world are in Azerbaijan. NASA geologists studied the planet Mars concluded that Azerbaijan's mud volcanoes have a similar structure to the upland of Mars. Whole area is full of mud volcanoes. Volcanic clay and mud are used in the treatment of diseases related to nervous system, skin and rheumatism. On September 5th, the largest mud volcano in the territory of Azerbaijan was added in the Guinness World Book of Records. So after seeing the mud volcanoes, we will now proceed to the Georgia border. We made a stop near a food store to buy some snacks. As we are proceeding to the border, we have reached the greener areas leaving the desert look. We can also see a small river down the valley. And all the mountains you are seeing here are in the Caucasus ranges. Next, we have a watermelon stuff. Azerbaijan is famous for these type of fruits. Watermelon. Oh, you like okay. Some? Yeah, I like some. It's a beautiful. The watermelon bread in way to shaky. After completing all the sites of Baku, we are now proceeding for shaky.
we have reached Sheki and we have put up in this hotel, Hotel Isam. Our hotel is in a very quiet area. There are traces of large-scale settlements in Sheki dating back to more than 2,700 years ago. This is a view from our hotel room. The city boasts a lot of houses with red roofs. After spending one night in Sheki, we will move to Georgia. Before going to Georgia, we will have a city tour of Sheki. The main tourist spot of Sheki is the Khan Palace, which we will see now. So we have started for the Sheki city tour. We will see the Sheki Khan Palace now. The Sakas were an Iranian people that wandered from the north side of the Black Sea through Durban Passage and to the South Caucasus and from there to Asia Minor in the 7th century BC. On the way, we are seeing this house, which was a prison in Soviet times. Sheki was one of the greatest density of cultural resources and monuments that include 2,700 years of Azerbaijan history. This is the boundary wall with the gate. The palace of Shaki Khans in Shaki, Azerbaijan was a summer residence for the Shaki Khans. It was built in 1797 by Muhammad Hassan Khan. inside view is excellent. Sheki has always played a central role in Azerbaijani art and more generally in the art and architecture of Azerbaijan. The palace was intended to house the Khans who were in charge of controlling Sheki as viceroys of the ruling Zand. We are seeing a beautiful rose garden. And this is the main palace hall of Khan Palace. On July 7th, 2019, the historic center of Sheki with the Khan's palace was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. After seeing my videos, please do like, share and comment and please do not forget to subscribe my channel.